Let's take a look at our 11th example. We've got uh, h of x is equal to uh, sine squared over cosine to the one-half power. Well, this is a chain rule. Um, we got parentheses to a power. So th specifically, this is a general power rule. We'll take the one-half, put it out in front. What's inside the parentheses remains as is. We'll lower our power by one. And then we're going to multiply it times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. Now, what's inside the parentheses is a quotient, um, so we we'll use a quotient rule. So our top part can be our p, and the bottom part will be our q. Um, now, this sine squared right here, that's the same as uh, saying sine x to the second power. So this is the uh, chain rule, general power rule. So for p prime, we'll take our power, put it out in front. What's inside the parentheses remains as is. Lower a power by 1, and then you multiply it times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. And derivative of sine is cosine. So again, we had the uh, parentheses um, to a power. Take your power, put it out in front. What's inside the parentheses remains as is. Lower your power by 1, and then you multiply it times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. And derivative of sine is cosine. Now for q, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we're going to have p prime q minus p q prime over q squared. Okay, so here we got one half, and then sine squared over cosine. One half minus one gives us negative one half times p prime, uh, which is two sine x cosine x times q, which was cosine x minus p, which was sine squared, times q prime, which was negative sine x, over q squared, so over cosine squared. Now let me double check that. Um, okay. Now back to this first fraction here. Whenever you have a fraction to a negative power, if you remember from intermediate algebra, you flip the fraction, take the reciprocal of it, so we have cosine over sine squared, and then the sine of the exponent becomes positive, so that becomes a positive one-half. Times 2 sine x. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared. And negative times negative is positive, and sine squared times sine gives us sine to the third. All over cosine squared. Now again, I want you to do some very basic uh, simplification, but not to go into much depth on that, because you won't have time on the test. So that's your answer.